everyone, welcome back. My name is Kat. Today I've got another fun reformer class for you. Most of it will be done using the box, so if you have one, you're going to grab it right away. You can place it on the carriage uh, the short way, right up against your shoulder rests. We'll have the foot bar all the way up, and we're going to be on one blue spring, uh, which is the medium spring tension. Uh, I'm using the Matthew Reformer. So my spring tensions are white for light, blue for medium, and red for heavy. You're going to come laying down on your back. You want to have your, uh, the edge of your scapula, the shoulder blades, just at the edge of the box here. And then you're going to reach back for the handlebars. Both heels are going to be on the foot bar. Now once you're up here, just your upper chest, you have to kind of take some time to adjust yourselves. Um, you want to have just the shoulder blades resting on the box, everything else is, is uh, kind of floating. You're holding on to those bars. Once you're up here, you can push out and then come onto the balls of your feet. Again, it may take a few rounds here to get fully adjusted and find a position that works for you. We're in a bridging position, so your hips are lifted. We're going to stay lifted here, we're just going to push the carriage out. And then we're going to take it back all the way in. Moving nice and slow, we're just warming up here. And again, pushing out. My legs are roughly hip width. I'm on the balls of my feet. My heels are lifted. Um, maybe not overdoing it so that you don't cramp up in your feet. But you want to be sort of on your tippy toes here. We're going to do one more exactly like this. There should be no tension, no pain in the neck. Everything's nice and relaxed. One more time, we're going to add a little bit to this, so next time, push all the way out. From here, keep your legs nice and straight. You're going to slowly start to lower it down. You're flexing the spine, you're extending the spine, your hips drop. Bend the knees to come back in, and from here, tuck the tailbone. You're going to roll your hips back up. You're back into that bridging position, and again, push all the way out. You're going to articulate your spine down from the top all the way down, going to where it's comfortable for you. There should be no pinching in the back. And here you pull the carriage in, bending the knees, tuck your tailbone, roll back all the way up. We're gonna do two more this way, pushing out and down. Now this should feel quite nice. As I said, you may need a few minor adjustments here for your spine, for your body, and that's fine. One more exactly this way. Moving slow and up. Now we're going to reverse it. So starting here, you're going to lower your hips down. The carriage is going to want to push out a little bit. That's fine. And then once your hips are low, you press out. Stay out. Keep the knees straight. Start to lift your hips up. And then you bend the knees to come back in. And again, we lower down. Notice how the carriage wants to push away. Now you press out. Tuck your tailbone. Lift up. And then the knees come back in. Let's do two more. Adding maybe a little bit more fluidity here in our movements. Push out and come back in. Push it in. And last time we go down. Push it out and come back up and in. Great. Now scoot yourselves off your box. This is often the most awkward thing to do. We're going to keep the box where it is, keep the blue spring, go down uh, so your foot bar is almost all the way down, but not fully down. You're going to come sitting on the opposite way, you can start sitting on your bar. You're going to have the balls of your feet or the edges of your feet now up against your box. Your fingertips are hanging off the foot bar this way. Start by pushing the carriage out. Now, I like to have the edge of the box more towards the center of my foot, not so much at the ball of the feet, because I feel sometimes like I'm going to slip off, but you go wherever is most comfortable for you. Start with your back nice and straight, holding onto the bar, you're going to float your butt off the box. From here, you're going to push the carriage all the way out, lengthening the legs, lifting your hips up. Scoop your belly button in, bend the elbows, you're going to pull in, round, round, round and come back to that upright position. And again, spine is straight, float off the bar, push out. Now tuck your tailbone, bend your elbows, pull in, and lengthen back up. Two more times, push out straight legs. From here, tuck your tailbone, elbows bend, pull it in, and lengthen. 
One more time, legs straight, bend your elbows, scoop your abdominals in, and push all the way. Take the box back in. We're gonna come off. You can turn your box the opposite way. We're gonna stay on that blue spring tension. You're going to come to kneeling on the box, taking the strap that's on your left side, place it underneath your left foot. Both hands on the box. You wanna have your knees closer to the edge, and then take your left leg off to the side. Keeping that left leg straight, you're gonna pull back and then release. And again, pull back into the strap and release. We've got eight more like this. And seven. And six. And five. Four. Last one, we're going to keep the leg up, turn it out, flex your foot so your toes and knees point out. You're going to open your leg a few inches to the side, then pull it back to your midline. Open side and pull in. Out and in. You've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. And release, take it down. You're going to remove the strap. We're going to turn the box again facing the opposite way, the short way. You're going to add the white spring to around blue and white. You're going to have your left knee kneeling. Take your foot, your right foot off to the front on the headrest. You want to have your leg up against the box. Your left knee is resting on the box. You're going to reach for both handles here, both straps. Sit nice and low, lean forward. Your spine is straight, palms facing back. Pull into the straps and release. And release. And pull. And release. We've got six, five, four, three, two, last one. You're going to keep your arms back behind you. You're going to take them into your midline, release, in, release. Eight more. Seven, five, four, three, two, one more, and release it down. Great job. Straps can come down. We're going to place the box again the other way, the long way. Remove that white spring so we're back to just the blue spring. Hands and knees, we're doing the same glute sequence the opposite way. Strap underneath your right foot. Hands and knees, leg off to the side. Keeping it nice and straight, pull the strap front. Exhale as you reach it back. And again, reach it front and back. Moving through your core here. So as you pull the leg back, you're going to pull your velvet in and exhale at the same time. Six more. And five. And four. Three. Two. Last one, the leg's gonna stay up. Turn it out so your knees and toes point out, the foot is flexed. Open a few inches, pull. Open, pull to center. And three, four, five, pass four, three, two, and one, and release, good job. Take it down, turning the box again the short way. You're going to add once more the white spring. So we're back on light and medium. This time it's your right knee that rests on the box. The left leg is front. Take both straps. You're going to hold again the straps, palms facing back. Reach back and release. As you reach back, squeeze your shoulder blades before you release. Pull and squeeze and release. And six, five, four, three, two, last one again, hold it 
back, pull your arms to the midline, release. In, and eight more. Seven, elbows stay straight. Neck is nice and long, sit low. In five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Great job. Tracks come down. We're gonna place the box on the railings. About um, maybe a foot away from the headrest. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. You'll have to adjust according to your height. And we're gonna go on to one heavy, one medium, blue and red. Start sitting on the box. You're gonna have your feet flat on the carriage, right up against the shoulder rest. So you wanna have your heels right up against the shoulder rest. You can have your hands either off to the front. I like to have mine on the side here. Right away I can tell I'm a little bit close. We're gonna be in an inverted bridge position. So you don't wanna to be too far, but you don't wanna to be too close. You need some space to move. Once you've found this bridging position, make sure your heels stay nice and low. Careful you're not dropping through the shoulders here, so really push through your hands. You're gonna pull the carriage in and release. Pull and release. Pull, pull, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna hold it here, steady the carriage, shoulders low, squeeze your glutes in four, three, two, and release. Carefully come off. Good, we're gonna take the box, Place it over the shoulder rest. If your headrest is up, you're gonna to have to pull it down. So right over the shoulder rest this way. Foot bar will come down. You will need your extension platform for this, otherwise it's gonna be quite comfortable. You can put a bunch of springs in uh, just to hold the carriage in place. You're gonna to wanna to remove the strap um, underneath here so that it's accessible to you and then you can place the platform over the spring area. Once you've got the platform in place, you're going to come to kneeling on the platform with the straps over your calves. So your legs are going to be hip width, the strap will be holding you down. I'm kneeling onto that extension platform. You're going to have your hands cross opposite shoulders Tuck your tailbone here. You're gonna allow your body to fall forward here. Don't go too far and then come back up. Doing a few really gentle ones here. You can go a little bit further, maybe on your second one, and then come in. Each time you go, if you wanna go a little bit further, that's fine. Just don't hinge at the waist. If you're doing this, you're not really getting into the hamstrings. So you wanna keep your entire back really straight and then come in. So the further you go, obviously the more it's gonna require your hamstrings to work. If you go too far that you hinge forward, you've gone too far. So you have to find that sweet spot. And release. Good, last four. And three. And two. And one, we're gonna add a little scent to this. You're gonna take your hands off your shoulders, hold them out like you're gonna do a push-up. You're gonna allow yourself to fall all the way onto your box. Your hands are gonna catch you, and then push yourself back up. And again, go down and push. And eight, and seven, and six, five, four, Keep your arms as wide as your box. Last two. One more. One. And release. Good. You can come off. Carefully coming from underneath the strap. Platform can come down. We're going to place the box up against the shoulder rest again. So it's right up there. We're going to start with spray only, medium spray. Take your foot bar all the way up. You're going to start on your carriage. You're going to have the ball of the feet right up against the edge of your carriage here. My heels are lifted, my hands are shoulder width. You're going to push the carriage out 
and pull it in. And again, push out and in. Three more this way. Three, two, last one, keep the carriage out. You're gonna transfer your right foot right up onto the edge of the box here. The left foot stays where it is, pull the carriage in and push. And two, three, four, one more, push it out, stay out. You're gonna take the left toes on the box, you have both feet on the edge of the box, pull it in and reach. And two, three, four, one more, five, hold the box back, take your right foot down, here we go, pull in, press, two, three, four, last one, hold it in, both feet down, five more, four, three, use your core here to stop the carriage, Last one, and release. Great job. Keep the box where it is, add the white spring. So we are white and blue. We're gonna to come to a straddle position. One foot on the headrest, one on the opposite side. You're gonna turn out, so te uh, toes out, heels in. You're gonna hold the strap that's in front with both your hands. You're gonna sit nice and low, your arms are straight, you're going to twist your body, pull the strap, and then release. And again, pull, twist, and release. Pull, twist, release. Twisting from the core, spine stays straight. Five more. And four. And three, two, one, good, and release. You're gonna come down onto your box, remove the white. We're gonna come laying down, you're still holding onto that strap. You're gonna place it in your right hand. You're coming laying down on your box. Your left hand is gonna be on the side of your box here. Push your lower back down, legs will come to tabletop. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. From here, extend the legs if you can without arching the lower back. You're gonna pull the strap across and release. Pull and release. Three, four, last six, and four, three, two, and one, good job, release it. Take the strap down, add the white spring back on. We'll be in that straddling position, facing the opposite way. Taking the strap in both your hands, remembering that your arms will stay straight. Bend your knees nice and low. Your heels can be pressing up against the box. It's gonna help a little bit with your balance. Starting with your arms to the left, twist to the right, and release. Full control. Moving from the core. You should feel this in the abs. Last six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And release, great, come down. Again, remove that light spring. You're back onto your backs, the strap's in your left hand. Pushing your lower back down. Your right arm is up against the box. Start with the legs tabletop. Reach your left arm up, either knees bent or extended. We pull across and pull. Last five. Four, three, two, and one, and release. Great job. Carefully come off. Turn the box the 
long way. Foot bar can come down only because it tends to get in the way. You're going to come laying down on your side. You can start on the right side. You're going to have your forearm, right forearm, right up uh, where the shoulder headrest is. Your legs can either be nice and long, straight. If you need more balance, you can bend either both legs or the bottom leg and keep one extended. Careful of this shoulder that you're not dropping this way, so you want to keep pushing into that forearm. And then you're going to reach over for the strap into your left hand, reach it up towards the ceiling. Your palm faces away from you. You're going to make sure the strap is a little bit out in front of you. Press it down and up and push. Now pay attention to your waist, the right side that's on the box. You don't want to just be hanging down onto the box. See if you can lift your waist a little bit off your box here. And up, and six, and five, four, three, two, Last one, we're going to keep the arm close to our hip, elbow stays at the waist. You're going to bend your elbow and push, bend and push. Five, last five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to do a combo. You're going to bend your elbow, reach it up, press it down. Bend, reach straight up, press down. Three more this way. And two. Last one. And down, and now we reverse. Arm stays straight, pull it up. Bend at the waist, press away. Reach up, bend, and push. Last three. Two. Last one and release flip over onto your bellies your chest is off the box you're going to have your hands through the black holding onto the white arms start out long out in front of you make sure your legs are in a turn out position and your legs are active so the toes are reaching out away from you you're going to start with your head nice and low pull yourselves up from here you're going to turn your palms so they're facing the ground you're going to take them to shoulder height Palms face down, pull back. And again, shoulder height and pull. Shoulder height and pull. Last six, five, four, three, two, one more. And release it back down. Good. The left strap can come back in place. You're going to flip over onto your left side with the left forearm down onto the headrest. Again, choosing the position of your legs. The strap is into your right arm, reaching up towards the ceiling. We press it down, straight line. Reach it up. And down. Moving with control. And four, three, two, last one. Your arm is going to stay close to your waist, elbow at the waist here. You bend and press away. Bend and press. Core is tight, remembering the side of your waist on the left side so it's not just dropping down onto the box. You're actively lifting it up a little bit. And two, Last one, good, going for our combo. Bend your elbow, reach up, press down. Bend, reach up, and down. Three more. Reach up, down, and two. Last one, and down. Now you reverse, keep it straight, reach it up, pull it into the waist, press away. Up, pull in, press. And three, two, and one, and 
and release. Good. You're going to take the strap down. Again, flip onto your bellies. We're going to stay on the box. Make sure your chest is off the box so it's a little bit more comfortable here. You're going to pull yourself all the way front so you can come holding on to the handlebars here where the pulleys are. You're going to have your elbows pointing sideways. Your back is straight. Your legs are active. You're going to pull in. You want to aim your elbows for the shoulder rests. So they're bending 90 degrees. Neck is long. And then release. And again, in and release. Last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Next time you bend your elbows, you're going to take them in between the shoulder rests. Take them out. Now bend, holding outside the shoulder rests, and release. And again, you go in, reach, go out reach again three more sets in reach out two more sets legs nice and long active core pulling in you're looking straight down at your headrest here not bending the neck good and out and release hold your railing just walk yourselves back good and then come off the box Whew. we can take the box Back this way, you're going to take your foot bar all the way up and go to red and blue, heavy and blue, coming to hands and knees. You're going to have, uh, let's start with the left foot, so the left heel onto the foot bar, toes pointing down, knee pointing down, your right thigh is up against the box here. You can have your hands um, on the carriage. I like to wrap my thumbs around the handlebars of the shoulder rest. You're going to push the carriage out and then pull it in. And again, out and in. And push and in. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one and release same side go to the ball of your foot press it out and in and two last eight seven six five four three two and one beautiful switching sides starting with the right heel left thigh presses up against the box and push eight seven six five four three two and one switching to the ball of the foot push out and really go to the full extension of the leg here without locking the knee last eight seven six and four three two Job. last one fold it in come on down change back to the blue spring and turn the box again the long way last little bit here we're gonna come to hands and knees we're gonna start with um, the right uh, the ball of the right foot onto the foot bar I suggest you take your left foot underneath the foot bar just keep it dangling there so it doesn't get too confusing for your brain you're going to push out with the right leg. Your left knee stays on the box. From here, you're going to push the box forward, allowing your right hip to drop. You should feel a nice stretch in the hip. Come back to tabletop, then the knee pull in. And again, push out first your tabletop, then you push the box out, dropping the hips. 
Coming back, tabletop. Pull it in by bending the knee. Two more times like this. Push out, stop in your tabletop first. Then you push up. Drop the hip. Come back to that tabletop position. Then you bend the back knee. Last time. Push out, tabletop. Press away. Come back, tabletop. Pull it in. You're going to go to tabletop. We're going to hold the tabletop position here. You're going to pick up your left knee a few inches. Drop it down. Pick it up and down. And two. Last one. Stay up. You're going to reach the right leg back. Pull it in. Back stays straight. Reach and in. Two more. Out. In. Last one. In. Take your knee down. Push the carriage out. You're going to come back to the tabletop position. Again, we're going to pick up the right knee. Drop it down. Two. Three. Last one. Stay up. Reach the leg back. Pull it in. This time you round your spine. Lengthen back. And round. And back. Two more. And back. Last one. And reach it back. Take your knee back down. Push the carriage front. Open up through the right hip flexor. Pull it in. And release. Good. You can take a quick shell stretch here. And then switch inside. If you need to roll out your wrist, maybe wipe your palms. This time, it is the left ball of the foot that's on the foot bar. Allow your right foot to just fall down. Good job. You're going to uh, press out with the left leg. See what happened just there. And hold it out. Push out. Pull it in. And take it back in. And again, we push out from the left. Stay in tabletop first. Then you push out. Take it in tabletop. Pull it in. Two more times. Push out. Reach it front. Drop the hips. Take it back tabletop. And in one more time. Push out. And reach. And in. Take it to tabletop. We're going to add. You're going to push out. Stay here. Pick up your knee. And down. Up and down. Up and down. Last one. Stay up. Reach the leg. Pull in, back stay straight. Out, in, two more. In, last one. In, take it down. Press it all the way front. I need to wipe my hands. Take it back all the way in. Good, one more time. Push out, halfway. Stay here. Pick up the knee and down. Two, three. Last one, hold it up. Reach the leg. Pull it in, round. And reach. Three more. And reach. Two more. And reach. Last one. Reach. Take the knee down first. Push the box out. And take it back all the way in. You can move a little bit forward onto your box. You're going to sit back onto your heels. Hold the sides of your carriage here and then just pull up so you feel your shoulder blades stretching. Hold it here. Drop the head. And release. You can just come to comfortable seated or kneeling position. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Last time. Deep inhalation, taking your hands into prayer, exhaling through heart center. You guys are done. Thank you again. I am sweating. Hope you guys had a good sweat too and a great workout and see you again sometime soon. Take care. Aloha.